Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it kind of looks like I need to reset the clock on my microwave. Uh, it's a little off. All right, we're back. Uh, just did a little bit of cleaning. Actually, I missed a couple of spots. I think we're doing pretty good for the most part. Okay, so um, today is a big day. Um, first of all, have a look out here. Um, did a bit of work yesterday afternoon and a bit of last night. We cleared out an area here, leveled it out a bit. Um, I have a shed uh, in mind. Um, we've been talking about adding a shed and um, there is so much uh, stuff to put away here. It's, it's a mess. It's all disorganized. Um, so we're going to set something up here. Problem is I don't, I can't afford to buy a shed right now. So um, yeah. Anyways, we cleaned up a bit. Um, I did get um, a bunch of these pallets, I guess, uh, IC, uh, an ICB tote um, stored away. I think we're going to focus this shed on storing a variety of products, including some stuff we need to run the farm. Um, you have a look over here. Uh, we are doing really well with these greenhouses uh so much that i actually moved a whole bunch of the produce but look at this look at all these strawberries tons of them and over here we've got the tomatoes so not as many tomatoes as strawberries but you know that's all right i guess it's April now. It's 9.14 in the morning. We have some work to do. And then guess what? We got a flight to take today. Uh, we're going to head home for probably a couple of days. Um, we're going to check in on Grandpa and see how he's doing. And I'll take you with me. Uh, we'll have a look at his farm up there. Um, soybeans ready to harvest. So we should get that out this morning. Um, I've got another field up there that's full of weeds. And that needs, um, we need to pl put something in there. So I have a direct drill, so we'll be able to put something in and eliminate those weeds. There's a little bit of honey, not that much. So we'll leave that, we'll let that go for a while. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, uh, the sheep. Um, so in the last episode, we picked up some sheep and uh, had no food for them. So... I went ahead uh, last night and created a whole bunch of bales. Uh, we're, I did give them one bale uh, last night, uh, but I want to get them all set up. Um, let's see, we've got, yeah, just one bale's worth. Um, they didn't look very good. Uh, <laughs> they were pretty hungry, so uh, we got them some food. We'll get a lot more. So I've created a whole bunch of grass bales. And I think we'll wrap some of them and try to sell them. Uh, but some of them we'll allocate and we'll store them and put them away for the, for the sheep. So that'll take care of that. Nothing to do with the sugar cane. It's just growing. It's all fertilized nice. So don't not concerned about that. And I believe we're going to have to do a little weeding on our newest field. So, yeah, lots to do. Lots of work to do. Um... So we got to hurry because I have a flight um, around noon. Uh, I have to check my ticket, but it's around noon. Uh, so I got to get myself to the dock. I got to get myself, um, you know, there's a, there's a shuttle over there that I can take to get to the airport and, uh, and then we'll get on with it. So this might end up being a bit of a longer episode for now. Uh, let's get going. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to get the loader and we'll pick up some bales and we'll get the sheep all set up. Did I use this? No, I think we're going to use bale fork. Seems logical, doesn't it? The other bales, we'll just leave them out there. I might try to wrap them before we go, but I don't know if I'm going to have time or not. All right. 
Ooh, that's bumpy. I thought I'd level that out nicely. Okay, so... First couple of bales. We'll just get them fed right in there. I don't know how hungry these guys are. Or how much this holds. That should maybe disappear. Yeah, there we go. Disappear. Let's get them two at a time if we can. Oh, that's a little too close. Yeah, there we go. Let's snag another one. Oh. Try this again. And as you're watching, you'll understand why I need auto loaders. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Let's get this filled up and then we'll add a few more for good measure. They're both gone. Let's have a look and see how much how much that filled up. Oh dear, they're going to need quite a bit, so I think we're going to change our strategy here. Let's go get our bale trailer. We need to get rid of these though. Oops. Oh boy. That's interesting. just dump those out just like that not quite sure why my door just opened okay okay there we go I'm not sure how many we need, but let's get the, let's gather up eight of them. We'll start with eight and we'll see how that sits. See, the good thing about the uh, feeding system holding many bales is we won't have to feed them more as often as we used to. Can we just do this? No, we cannot. Okay. Won't be long before super strength kills in, kicks in. Okay.
All right, let's see how that does. Oh, can still hold a lot more. So let's go grab some more. We're gonna kind of cheat through this. Okay, that's good enough for now. That'll keep for quite a while, I think. So they, they'll need some more water as well, so we'll take care of that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get... Um, let's run over, and what we're going to do, I guess, is we'll... Um, start with some of the weeds. Oh, so much to do. The weeds tend to go pretty quickly, so we'll get that done. Okay. We're just going to hand this off right away. Actually, we'll need to do the headland, so let's do that. And once we finish the headland, then we're going to uh, hand off, um, get somebody to help us. And um, we'll get the harvesting started. I kind of feel like I wish I had a third tractor now. As for our trip, um, somebody needs to take care of our... Um, animals and our property so um i think it's no secret that i've been uh pretty impressed with sylvia um one of the locals um she's worked really hard uh, she comes in she does what's asked and um, um my top top worker i guess we'll call her um so uh, I made arrangements with her to uh, come in and help us out. Um, I, I, I have full trust in her to take care of things, so we'll do that. We'll be gone a couple of days. You know, it won't be terribly long, but uh, this way at least um, I know things are in good hands. Um, you know, I really want to take this to the next level at some point. Uh, right now it's about developing my farm um, but I really want to add to the community so we're going to uh, do everything we can to develop skills but also provide opportunities and um, I think that is appreciated um, you know sometimes people don't like you coming into their space and kind of trying to take leadership but um, in this case, everybody's very receptive um, and they're very, very friendly people here. So, all right, let's hand this off. I should do it. All right, next. Let's get our field harvest underway for a soybean. I guess we'll come around this way. Kind of cozy through here. Again, we'll do the headland and we'll hand off as well. Uh, we got a lot to do and uh, limited time. Ideally, we have two fields to, to replant. Uh, it is April right now, so 
Uh, soybean is a good price typically around June or July. But we'll leverage that, but we'll try to get something in the ground that we can sell in late fall. Uh, probably canola again. We haven't done anything with the um, the area that we cleared uh, of lumber, <laughs> the trees we took down. Um, we were planning to put a field in there, but uh, with the upcoming travel, I just can't uh, see if we'll have time to do that. I don't think uh, that might be for a future episode. Interesting thing about soybean is that uh, it's a pretty low yield uh, crop. Um, so you can go quite a while with the harvester without having to unload. And given that the um, and given that the silo is right there, we're probably just going to try to unload um, right in the silo every time. All right. Let's hand this off now. Yep, Sil Sylvia's taken over, and we'll let her do what needs to be done there. Uh, all right, what's next? Uh, I have another tractor over here. I want to get um, that field over there. I want to get something in there. I'll show you something else that we worked on. Let's go drop off this front loader for now. There we go. Go find our cedar. And moved over a little bit. I had to move some stuff around so I can level this out. And there we are. I might have to get more seed and fertilizer in here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, yes, definitely. Fortunately, we have a lot. That's the beauty of it. But, of course, now that I'd be sea totes right in the way. <laughs> All right, let's get out of the way. Throw that back here. Throw some seed out. We'll start with the fertilizer. Put that in there. Okay, then we'll do the seed. Beautiful. We'll put those away afterwards. All right, so let's get some canola going. You can never have too much canola. That should take care of all the weeds as well. Okay, so we did a little work over here, and uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, it was kind of, didn't look very good. A lot of weeds were coming up, so we cleaned that up and put in some grass. Um, it'll just look a little bit nicer, you know. Ten o'clock. 
Time is flying by. I'm a little stressed out. Uh, I, I need to get that on that flight. Um, got a call from my brother, and um, uh, he's already he's already there. So you know, just a recap for for those who haven't uh, watched previous episodes. Uh, Grandpa isn't doing so well, and uh, he's up and down. Some days it looks like he's going to be fine. Some days not so much. Um, he runs a farm back home. Okay, let's get this going. Yeah, as I was saying, um, my brother's already there. Um, and um, it doesn't sound good. Um, you know, Grandpa's hanging on health-wise, but there's some other issues that have come up uh, because of his health. So... But we're going to need to deal with that. Alright. This has been handed off. And we'll let this process continue. Let's finish this up here. Not quite sure why this stopped. Alright, so... The uh, worker... Stopped because we ran out... We ran out of uh, herbicide. I was pretty sure I had filled it. I don't, don't quite understand how we ran out that quickly, but we'll see. Let's put this back away. Get back out of here. I don't know how much is left in there, so we'll see. Okay, we filled up. Need to fix that bump. That's going to be a problem. The smaller the spot that's left, the more bothers me. Okay, let's get this cleaned up. That's done. Okay, so we have no money left. Um, so, or very little anyway. Um, so I'm going to load up these pallets. Um, we're going to go sell them. I know it's not a good, pr good time to sell. But we'll... Uh, we don't have much choice. And yes, it's another auto loader. Uh, this will not auto load. All right, we'll have to sell these separately. Okay, so tomatoes are going to go to supermarket. Pretty sure. I keep saying tomatoes. These are strawberries. You know, we're still we're still selling kind of at the wrong time of year for a lot of stuff, um, but we just need the cash flow. Um, running out of money is very limiting so let's see what we can get for these we'll take what we can get and it won't be ideal but at least we'll we'll get a little money in the bank
we still haven't started paying down our debt yet, which is, you know, a big problem. And this is the supermarket. I believe this is where I'm supposed to sell these. percent sure though no I guess not oh yeah okay that's interesting Okay, not quite sure what's going on there. Selling $3 worth at a time. So I think we're going to head to our exports container. I'm not sure what the, exactly the deal is with the, uh, the vendors or the customers, I guess, uh, around here. It seems to be really difficult to get anything, um, get them to buy stuff. Okay. These are selling. Hmm. That was not a lot. I think we're going to hang on to the tomatoes. I'm surprised how much money we did not get from that. All right, see you back at the farm. We're just going to leave that there for now. And we're not going to touch the tomatoes. Well, let's put this boat back. I'm a little stressed about our flight, so I'm going to go double check my ticket. I want to make sure that uh, we don't miss that flight. It's important. Where did I put that thing? Um, ah, there it is. It's in my bag. Okay. Let's uh, leave this out here for a minute. And so we'll be ready. And uh, Sylvia has mentioned she'll drop me off. All right, let's grab our trailer here. I think the uh, harvester is ready to unload soon. And we'll save the effort of having the combine go to the, the silo. We'll, we'll take care of it.
coming. Okay, we're almost done over here. It's 20 after 11. I did check my ticket, and my ticket uh, says the flight is actually later. Um, it's a good flight, but it's uh, about a four-hour flight, and uh, it takes off around uh, 2. So we've got a little bit of time left, but still, we do have to take a, a boat shuttle. Um, so, yeah, pressure is still on. We just want to get this taken care of before we leave. It just feels good to, you know, to leave things in order, I guess. Uh, not too chaotic. Let's go unload this. Uh, from here, the harvester will have to go back. Uh, so... It can unload by itself after. this back over here somewhere okay so Sylvia's going to get her car I'm just going to finish this up myself she seemed a little nervous about taking over for a few days but uh, I'm sure she'll be fine He'll be fine. Not a problem. Okay, that's done. And we're just finishing this up. It's noon. This sh the timing should work out pretty well. Uh, the other field, we'll leave that to Sylvia to deal with after we're gone. Let's just park this over here somewhere. We'll grab our bag. We'll wait for Sylvia to come and get us. Said she wouldn't be very long, so. Okay. Close up. Turn off the lights. Door is actually closed. Believe it or not. Grab our bag, and we're just going to head down by the road here. And we'll just wait for her. Couldn't be too long. Do 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 do. Okay, he's here. Interesting. Um, okay, that's trippy. Maybe I should ask if I can drive. Okay, sounds good. I'm allowed to drive. And she's taking a nap. 
in the back seat. All right, let's head to the port. Get on the boat. And get our flight. Ugh, this thing is really wobbly. It moves pretty fast, though. I should not be going this fast with this many bumps, but I don't want to miss my boat. Whoa, careful. There we go. Okay. All right. Head down to the dock. Ah, I remember when I first arrived. Okay, time to get on the boat. I got dropped off here at the bowling alley, local bowling alley. Uh, feels good to be back home. All right. Um, I'm told that my brother mentioned that he was dropping off the pickup truck. I think this is it right here. So we're going to head right over to grandpa's. Okay. They are expecting me. It's April and there's actually snow in the forecast. Um, this is New Brunswick in Canada and uh, that was a thing here. So we'll see. We'll see if we get some snow or not. Uh, we're going to take this shortcut. Uh, little back road trick to get to grandpa's I guess been a while since I've been here. I gotta be careful not to go too fast. This pickup truck really has an engine in it. There's Grandpa's place right over there. See how things are going. Ooh. These fields don't look so good. We'll have to check that out when we can. It's going to be dark pretty soon, so... Um, I don't know if we'll get to check everything out tonight or not, but uh, right now the focus is Grandpa himself. So. We'll see. here. Lights are on. People are home. Um, what the heck? 
Where's all the chickens? There's only two chickens. Well, let's go see what's up. Okay. Um, things are not great, to be honest. Um, we really can't see much out here, but the farm has deteriorated. Um, my brother tells me that uh, Grandpa has not been taking care of the farm for a while. Um, and uh, things are a little bit in disarray. Gardens are not planted yet, and it is only April, but certain things need to go in, like now. Um, grass is, seems to be mowed okay, though. Let's have another look around, see what's going on. It's got some equipment here. Some of it needs repairs. And where's the sheep? There's only one. Oh, look at this. This guy. Oh, interesting. There's no more sheep. Okay, this is uh, a little disturbing. He had a whole flock. Um, luckily, there's some equipment that at least seems to be okay. So, my brother had mentioned that um, because he hadn't been taking care of the farm, he wasn't getting the crops, and he wasn't getting the crops, he wasn't getting the money, so he started selling off things, uh, which is a problem. Um, I'm guessing he sold some chickens and some sheep, and uh, he may have sold some equipment. Uh, there's another shed over here. Let's have a look and see what he's got in here. Okay, well, he's got snow removal, uh, old ATV, a trailer, and sled. And nothing out here. Train's going through right now. Okay. Let's close this up. Need some repairs up here, I guess. I'm getting better at closing doors behind me. All right, so we're going to hang out, uh, get some sleep, and then we'll have a look at this in the morning, see what it really looks like. Good morning. So it was pretty frigid last night. Uh, we got a frost this morning. That may be why he hasn't planted anything, but I suspect uh, there's other reasons. So let's have a better look. Yeah, still there's the two chickens and... Got a harvester down here. What is this? Oh, Bassy. Okay. Looks like a good truck. Just the one sheep. Um, looks pretty weak. There's no food. No food. There's some work to be done here. So, I think what we'll do... Let's have a look at this. Oats. All went to waste. Uh, okay, so I think we'll have to spend a couple of days to get some of this stuff caught up a bit. Um, I honestly don't know what's going to happen at this point. Uh, if he can't take care of this, somebody's going to have to. Um, either that or he sells it and moves. So, there's another field over here. What's this? The grass looks good. And this is sorghum. Uh, withered as well. So, yeah, problems. Problems. We need to get a, some, a mulcher, maybe, and get in here and clean all this up. There's some work to be done here. So, I have to have a good sit down with my brother. And, uh, unfortunately, Dad. Uh, passed away and uh, can't help so um, 
up with the boys. Oh, he's got an old shed over here. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh just tapping some trees for maple syrup. Well, that's good. This these look good. Uh I don't know where we're at with them, but Hey, can't have Canada without maple syrup, can ya? That's something to take care of. Season just passed though. Um the peak season for for tapping but we'll see i mean we're getting frost so still good okay so i'm gonna head in talk to my brother a bit more make some plans and see what we can do to help out here uh, in the meantime i'm gonna place a phone call back back to um sylvia and see how she's making out and uh yeah, I don't know where to go from here. Honestly, you guys, I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see. Okay, so um, we had a chat, um, made some decisions. Uh, so my brother's going to stay here, and he's going to start the work here. Uh, unfortunately, he cannot stay for very long. So I'm going to head back home. Uh, I have to, some thinking to do. I have to make some plans, and I will do that and decide how we're going to move forward uh, obviously grandpa can't do this anymore so that's it's a done deal um just a question of figuring out path forward um do we sell this place or do we try to keep it in the family we'll uh we'll see i guess yeah all right i'm gonna head back to the airport So, my brother mentioned that I can just leave the, uh, the car at the airport, he'll arrange to get it picked up. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Beautiful countryside out here. Real home, down home feel to it. What are we doing for fuel? We're, we're, there's plenty of fuel, but we're good. is here pick us up can i drive sure why not all right we're back home that last flight was uh was a bit of a bumpy ride um takeoff and, and landings were pretty rough well let's head back to the farm Okay, and we're back home. Not much has changed. Um, decided to uh, come home earlier than I thought I would, so that's okay. Okay.
I'll have a sit down um, with Sylvia and see uh, what we're going to do. All right. That'll be it for this episode, guys. Um, we have uh, some planning to do. Um, some changes are upcoming. And, uh, of course, we need to keep this, this place uh, prospering. So, um, join me in the next episode. Um, lots of change coming. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe, like, uh, comment, share, etc., etc. Um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, hope you're enjoying this this series. Have a great day.